Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. This is the vehicle we're gonna be working on today, a 2005 C6 Corvette. We're gonna be taking out the factory head unit and changing it out with an aftermarket Sony. This vehicle does come equipped with Bose. These are the parts we're going to be using on the 2005 Corvette C6 ADGM1 for Metra antenna adapter, the 95-3304 double din Metra dash kit, and the Crux interface harness, which is an SOCGM-17C. You can also use a Metra or a pack harness. I just prefer the Crux one. It's very nice and easy to use. And this is what the stock head unit looks like in here. This is kind of like a before. All right, the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna unclip this piece right here. It's kind of, it seems like it's already not very good. So this piece comes up, it looks like his clips are missing. Yeah, he is missing both clips. You'll wanna unplug this, remove these two seven millimeters or nine thirty seconds, whatever you wanna use. Um, the C5s, you have to take that out, but on these, I think you just have to take out the two 930 seconds or seven millimeters. Now these are a lot better than the C5s. They're terrible, but now that I've got these two out, this whole piece, this whole entire piece right here will just pop off and come out. There's two seven millimeters, one here and one here on this side panel. And I just removed this whole side panel right here because this part right here is getting hung up. And back when I used to do this, you have to take it to get to over here to get this off, but something's hanging up right back right back here. So I'm gonna try to figure out what that is and that way I can get it out of here. Also going to remove these four T15s right here because it's making it really hard to get this out. So I'm just gonna remove this and make it easier on us. I also unclipped this piece here too to move this over so that it's easier to get this out. Trust me, it makes it a lot easier. Got the car started and I pulled it back because it's an automatic so that you can get this back off. You're also gonna have to unplug the traction control and the hazard light as well up here. So you're gonna have to unplug both of those when you're trying to take this all out. This cigarette lighter right here, you're gonna have to unplug as well. So here's everything you're gonna have to unplug. Traction control, cigarette lighter, which are both of these, which are a pain in the butt to get off, mainly because they put this on the top. I don't know why, so you have to push this down to pull back. You also have heated seats on this particular model and another plug going back here. So you have heated seats right here that unplugs from the bottom. Another cigarette lighter that's in that little cubby hole, and then another heated seats which they unplug with this bottom piece. You just press in and it pulls back. Same situation with this. You just press in on this and it and it pulls back. You also have to unplug the hazard switch here. So there's a lot of stuff you have to unplug while you're trying to put this in neutral order and drive, and trying to get it all out with one hand. So it's a pain in the ass. This is the hardest part about doing this car. Now that we have the whole entire bezel removed. We need to remove all these 932nd 7 millimeters. I use 7 millimeter. We're going to take these two off for the HVAC, and you have two on each side for the actual radio. So we're going to take all that stuff out. What you're going to unplug from the back antenna, secondary plug, main harness. This is what they'll look like antenna, you know, basically antenna, which we'll put our antenna adapter on, secondary harness, and main harness right here. So that's how everything's going to work. 
the head unit we're going to be using, which is an XAV 1000. Really good head unit from Sony, so we're going to be doing that. And he has an Apple phone, so we're going to use the Apple CarPlay. It's a very good unit for what you get for basically the price point. The step up from this is the XAV 5000, but he chose to go with this because it does have the Apple CarPlay and has all the features that he's looking for as the front USB volume knob and it looks very similar to the Corvette stock radio. So it's gonna look very clean and basically like almost like OEM. So this is the wiring harness that we wired up. We test taped everything to make it look like OEM. We plugged it into the slot that says Bose because this vehicle actually has Bose. Main vehicle harness goes into here for this is the main harness. And then everything else here, we have crimped capped. It's all color coded, yellow to yellow, black to black, blue with white stripe to blue with white stripe, red to red. The only red that's weird is this one says reverse signal gear input. We don't have to hook that up, but basically everything's all ready to go. You'll plug this into the main harness. This one will plug into the back of the Sony. So this harness is ready. And then I'm gonna show you after we get the uh, mounting kit put onto the, the Sony here for you as well. So here's the 1000 mounted in. You'll see on the top parts it has curves. That's the actual tap part. Um, we just mounted the brackets right, and then you'll have left, and they just slide into those slots so that you basically use these screws right here that holds it into place. And basically this is a single din chassis, so it mounts right there, but we kind of made it more flush so it looks like OEM. But that's how you mount the kit. So this is the back of the XAV1000. You have your antenna, you have your camera input here, your sub output here, and then you have your front and rear. Basically, you'll have three sets of RCAs, only this is a mono. You have your mic input, you have your remote input. Basically, if you have you know steering wheel remote or anything like that, your main harness, and then you have your actual Molex from Sony up here that can do for like XM and stuff like that. So that's pretty much the rear of the unit and how it is. There is no USBs on the rear or wired USBs on this particular unit. Everything is all on the front. All right, we're gonna plug the harness in. So basically you're gonna plug this in just like so. You gotta make sure you match up where all the grooves are. That'll plug in right there. And then the same way with the antenna, same situation, you're just gonna plug that in right there. And then we'll plug our Bluetooth microphone into the back. And that will pretty much be everything that we will need for the, the rear of this unit to be able to plug in. And then we should be able to turn it on and everything will work. All right, we got it all in here. Um, well, besides I don't have it mounted turn this AC unit down all right so basically it's in the initial settings Some tuner works yep there we go so everything's working looks really nice in there we'll show you some finished up pictures and video when it's all done here's the finished radio installed sorry about all the dust Looks really nice, super clean. The dash kit fits really good, just like OEM. Everything looks really nice. Definitely looks like a OEM or very close to OEM replacement, especially because of the knob right here and everything. It just looks really good, sounds really good. Definitely is a awesome upgrade from factory.